On this toy spot, we're going to be having a look at DC Universe Wave 3, or it is the Gorilla, or I was going to say the Gorilla Grodd Wave. It is the Solomon Grundy Wave. There you go. The Solomon Grundy Wave. This is figure 3, and we're looking at Nightwing. <laughs> Before we actually have a look at the figure itself, as we always do here on the spot, we're going to have a look at the packaging first. And I figured it was probably the best to start with Nightwing, just because I have the torso piece to Solomon Grundy. And I figure this way, uh, like a via a Voltron combination, I can start with the torso and add the limbs to it. So, uh, packaging features the traditional starburst of the DC Universe line. Although very similar to every wave, the only difference is the paneling in the background is a little bit different. So we've got Sinestro, we've got what looks to be Nightwing down below, Solomon Grundy, we've got Green Lantern, and I think it's just Sinestro along the top there, and Robin. So there you go. Um... As I've already mentioned, the Nightwing comes with the torso of Solomon Grundy. The very large Solomon Grundy, I might add, as well. Um, I think of so far of all the Build-A-Figures, the Collect and Connect, I'm really looking forward to getting old Solomon Grundy here put together. On the back of the packaging, the other figures in this wave, we've got Nightwing, we've got Robin, we've got Green Lantern, Hal Jordan, we've got Sinestro, and we've got Deathstroke the Terminator. Uh, there was two variants to this wave. Sinestro also came in his yellow Green Lantern core outfit. And also Deathstroke the Terminator came in his Slade uh, outfit with the alternate head. Um, I didn't I picked up all the figures except for the Slade. The Slade actually, originally while I wasn't interested in getting the figure, I think now that I've seen it a little more, I'd like to go back and pick up the Slade. And then the read up. Read a biography of Nightwing says, After his parents were murdered, young Dick, Dr Dick Grayson was adopted by Bruce Wayne, becoming his ward and as the first Robin. The boy Wonder, his partner in the war against crime, years later Robin struck out on his own as Nightwing and now lives in a corruption-ridden city of Bluthaven, uh, where by day he serves as a member of that police city police department. Statistics down below. First appearance is Robin, Detective Comics number 38, April 1940. Ooh, this guy should be a lot older than what he is. And as Nightwing, Tales of Teen Titans number 44, February 1984. Real name Dick Grayson, occupation police officer, base of operations Blue Haven. Blue Haven. Uh, special abilities expert in most martial arts, trained gymnast, trained in stealth and espionage techniques, an expert escape artist. Expert escape artist. Okay, so that's packaging. That's packaging on Nightwing. What we'll do is we'll get this guy out of his package and we'll have a closer look at the figure. Don't go anywhere, guys. Stay tuned. Alright, Nightwing is out of his package. So let's get a better look at the figure. Very interesting story behind this figure. When I first took him out of the package, I thought originally he was there was a paint problem with this particular figure. Uh, I looked at the hand, and actually I think you can see it as well. I looked at the hand and it was all gray. And I'm thinking to myself, what is wrong with this figure? Did they really miss the paint that bad on this figure that he's gray? Uh, this hand certainly was black. The arm here is black. Everything on this arm was gray. Um, it, w it wasn't until I actually wiped the figure off. Here, let me uh, let me show you there that I realized it was dust. It was dust on this figure. This figure that I just opened. And uh, the only the only way I can explain it is the package. I get the package out again. Yeah, the package has little air holes in it. Perhaps where I bought this figure from. Somehow it was in a dusty environment and dust might have got in those holes. Very strange, very strange. As you can see there's a little bit of dust on the leg as well. Very dusty figure. Very dusty figure.
I'm going to have to take maybe a cloth to it later. Um, but a, a, a pretty decent figure, actually, nonetheless, despite all the dust that's on him. And uh, I actually was... I think of all the figures, I, would you actually believe I was looking forward to Nightwing probably the least? Um, I, you know, great figure nonetheless, but I, I really wanted to get the Robin and the Green Lantern and the Sinestro and everything else, and I think Nightwing ended up being at the bottom of my list. But, I mean, certainly, certainly a really, really nice figure, though. And before we actually look at the figure, uh, what I'm trying to do, as with most of my other DC universe, is we'll show the torso first, or the part that this figure comes with. As you can see, he comes with the very imposing, as you can see size-wise, how large this guy is, comes with the upper torso of Solomon Grundy. So, like I said, a la Voltron, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the torso, I'm going to add the parts to it. Yes, I know Voltron really started with the legs and everything else, but we're actually going to start with the torso. So Solomon Grundy, you, my friend, are missing quite a bit, and hopefully we can finish you off and get you complete in the next several videos. But we'll put that aside. Now going back to the figure. Um, like I said, a figure I really didn't want necessarily, it was the least one I was interested in, but now that I've actually got him out of the package, I can really appreciate how nice this figure is, despite the dust. Um, the detail is really nice. I mean, certainly they use the same body mold, although the legs, it might just be me, but the legs look a little thinner. I don't think they are, though. I think they're the exact same legs. But as you can see, he's got his more modern... Uh, outfit. He's got the, the blue with the black. Uh, much nicer, if you ask me, than the was the 80s Nightwing that was blue and then this was yellow. Um, I know initially the reason why we got the classic Red Tornado over the modern is that they were trying to push for the classic styles. I'm really glad that they didn't go with the classic Nightwing and instead they went with the modern Nightwing. Also, as well, I'd like to point out, too, that the the Nightwing here, I ended up taking, I think originally when I was doing the reviews of the Superheroes line, I had mentioned that I sold my Nightwing because I was looking forward to getting this Nightwing. And uh, I am actually glad that uh, I did sell the other one. Because for me, really, this is the Nightwing that I would like to have on display. Uh, a very, very nice figure, though. Uh, his accessories, aside from Grodd, comes with his two batons. Is that really what you want to call them? Batons? That's what we're going to call them, the batons. And as you can see, holds them really no problem whatsoever. Getting them in is not, not an issue. And you can have them posed in different ways. Um, the batons, I think you probably noticed when I turned the figure around, uh, the figure also has little clips on the backs that you can actually take the batons and attach them to. So if you prefer your Nightwing on display without the batons, you can certainly have them up behind here as well. No doubt somebody is going to message me down below and say, well, they're not batons, they're called something else. But at any rate, a really nice looking figure. Uh, a very, very pleasing figure. I mean, I, I like the coloring. Again, it's just black and blue. Uh, but in the way of his articulation, I also like to point out, I love his hair. Look at that. Oh, how awesome that hair is, eh? Kind of just jets out. But he has an articulated head. Um, doesn't seem like it wants to move as much, probably just because the back hair here is hindering some of that. Uh, he has the ball-jointed shoulders, the swivel bicep, the jointed elbow. You can swivel, rotate the w uh, wrist. You can bend the torso, mid-torso joint. There's a r rotation in the waist. Uh, you can bend the leg out and back and forth. Uh, you can bend, you can swivel the thigh, bend the knee, and bend the foot. And overall impressions of the figure, it is quite a nice figure. And uh, I think, I think it's one of those figures now that I've gotten him out of the package. I appreciate him probably a little bit more than what I did, and I'm very happy to have picked him up. Um, so far, a good way to start this wave is with this Nightwing figure. I probably would give this Nightwing about a 7. 
uh, a little higher than average. I mean, it's uh, the paint and everything is decent. But I am certainly looking forward to opening the other guys. So a 7 for Nightwing. And that was a toy spot on DC Universe Wave 3. Or the Solomon Grundy Wave. And that was Nightwing. And I'll see you guys next time. Later.